Hello Carp Anglers, welcome back to the channel. Kicking off the first in our new series of how-to rig tutorials here on Carp Angler TV. And what better way to start things off than by taking it way back to the most basic of rigs, but no less iconic than the hair rig. Since its origination in the early to mid 1980s, the hair rig has been the center of rig development for decades with a number of variations that followed on from its inception. But one thing is for sure though, it really does work. Hang about with me while I look at the components needed and how to tie this very simple yet super, super effective rig. Let's get into it. So there's no question the hair rig has accounted for many, many fish over the years, both big and small from around the globe. And it still to this day is a go-to rig for a number of anglers, myself included, and for very good reason. I felt this would be a wonderful way to start out the series, working our way from the ground up, offering a simple yet very effective start to anglers who are new to the sport and perhaps a refresher for others. I'll show you all the components needed and also guide you through exactly how I tie this rig. The key components you will need are your choice of the following. Hook link material. Hooks. There are many patterns that can be used for this rig. I personally use a wide gate pattern with a beat point. Anti-tangle sleeves. Bait stops. A baiting needle snips or braid scissors, and of course, the bait of your choice. Now to start out, remove 10 to 12 inches of your chosen hook link. If needed, remove about four inches of the coating. This helps with giving the rig natural movement and also aids with the mechanics. With the end you have just stripped or just taking the end of the material, form a small loop like so. Now tie a simple overhand knot in the loop. Try and keep the loop short and neat. Using the baiting needle and your chosen bait, mount the bait onto the loop like so. This loop is known as the hair. Once the baits are in place on the hair, place a bait stop into the loop and snug the baits up to the stop. This is so the baits do not fall off of the loop. Now take a chosen hook. In this case, I'm using a size four wide gape beak point hook from Thinking Angler's Terminal Range. Passing the hook link through the back of the eye of the hook like so. Now pull the excess hook link through the eye of the hook and align the bait to allow them to hang just in line or under the bottom of the hook like so. You can vary this length depending on the size of the bait you wish to use. Now pinch the hook and the hair between your thumb and finger like so. To form the knotless knot, this is done by wrapping the hook link around and down the shank of the hook. Like so, six to eight turns is more than enough. I personally finish this off by wrapping one long wrap back up the shank of the hook before passing the tag end of the hook link back through the back of the eye of the hook. The knotless knot is held in place with attention due to its design and allows the bait to be presented to offer maximum hook holds. To finish off the hair rig, slide on an anti-tangle sleeve and be sure to have the tapered end towards the hook. Depending on if you are using a quick change swivel or a regular barrel swivel will mean you can either tie the rig directly to the swivel or make a loop in the tag end for the quick change option. 
At this point, I will make a simple loop in the tag end of the hook link and form an overhand loop knot. Don't forget to moisten the loop knot. And at this point, you can snug down both the knotless knot and the loop knot by using a puller tool as seen here. So there you have it, the hair rig. What a wonderful thing. It's a rig that really has stood the test of time and it's still used all over the world to present day and still catching a ton of carp. Let us know the outcome and how you got on after tying and using a hair rig for yourself. And don't forget, leave a comment below and let us know how you've gotten on. As always, I've left the links in the description below over to carpangler.com where you can click on over there and take a look at the products seen in this video should you wish to buy and try them for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. And if you are not already, consider supporting the channel by subscribing to Carp Angler TV. As always, thank you for your support. The very best of luck if you are out on the bank or heading that way. And we look forward to seeing you next time right here on Carp Angler TV.